Hello YouTubers and welcome to my channel the Virginia Bushcrafter and what I want to go over today is the performance of a knife known as the Jungle King <clears throat> now a few days ago I did a review of this knife the Jungle King and again I am an advocate of testing your equipment before you go into the bush so today I'm going to test this knife so I can somewhat expect to know how it will perform so I'm going to start off with a major task of splitting some wood now I'm going to be used this is the wood that I'm going to split and I'm going to be using a baton to do it so let me get on some put on some safety gloves and we are going to see how this knife performs when it is being batoned and to split now this wood is somewhat knotty but we're going to try it anyway but let me put you in focus very well Okay, there you have it. As you can see, it does spit wood well. So, our next task is going to be making some feather sticks. Um, I am now going to make some feather sticks and curls with the Jungle King knife. All right, let me get you in focus here. Okay. I'm going to be using the carving portion of the blade. Feather sticks are very important in firecraft. It helps you get your fire started quicker, more efficiently. The thinner, the better. And this is something that you just, it takes time, it takes practice to learn how to make feather sticks. And of course it also depends on the tool that you're using. The angle that is on this knife is more or less a 30 degrees, which is not the, not the optimal degree or angle to make feather sticks, but I, I want to try it with this knife. It's 
there's an example of a feather stick, a small one. So I'm going to make another one. Sound like that's going to break. So I'm going to try it this way. The jimping really helps on this knife. Here's an example of the second feather stick. Now there is another way that you can make feather sticks with this knife. And I'm gonna do that by piercing the blade into the wood, into the, my, where the uh, my wood holder There are numerous ways to make feather sticks, but with this Tanto blade, I wanted to try this method as well. Just another example of a feather stick. And another good thing about this knife, I'm sure it's easy to make, actually to make curls or shavings. As you can see, most of them are falling off onto the ground. All of this will become very important when starting a fire. Okay, I just wanted to give you an example of some curls. Here are some curls and there are a lot of them that's on the ground so I'm going to make some more.
Okay. So you see here is an example of some curls. So it feather sticks well. It makes curls very well. And there is one more method that I have not tried, but I'm going to try it now. And that is with a different portion of the blade. And that portion, it's right in here, between the belly and the carbon portion. Let me get a stronger piece of wood. Use this knife to actually process some potatoes. So let me put you in focus. Okay, so slices very well, partially because it is a hollow grind. And hollow grind and flat grinds are really good for just slicing. Okay, so I'm gonna slice up the rest of this potato, put it in a pan, and we're gonna use a fair sim rod we're going to use the ferrous sim rod to make a fire. Hey guys, uh, I was lucky enough to actually find a real bird's nest. So I'm going to use this ferrous sim rod and the spine of this knife to light this. Let's see how it goes. Okay, we have fire. And now I'm going to add the feather sticks.
Okay. And we are going to actually have us a meal. These are french fries. I'm going to cover them with foil paper. Okay, majority of this work is done. Let me put you in focus. This work is done with the King Jungle Knife. I'm gonna to tend to this fire and I'll let you know when it's dinner time. Fire should be going down to some coals pretty soon. And then I'm gonna add something else once the french fries are done. So now on the grill, there are, on the grill now, and there are french fries awaiting. So again, this is my meal for the day with french fries. Okay, this is the meal for the day. Impossible and french fries prepared in my backyard to experiment with the Jungle King knife. And as you can see, the fire is dying out. So, there's a gallon of water waiting for it. So this is the meal I am getting ready to enjoy. Remember, this is the Virginia Bushcrafter, the channel where we learn and we practice bushcrafting, prepping, and survival skills. So guys, hit the like button, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you YouTubers, I appreciate you.